kids will come up and just like look at them a little bit and they'll just say are they stuck and then I'm just like they got stuck inside the tummy and now they're here and this is what happens. First, we kind of take a peek to make sure they're really awake. Carter likes to sleep more than Callie does. But Carter will pop back up. Hi. Hi, y'all. Hi. Boop. Hang on. Callie and Carter are um, fellow ischiopagus conjoined twins, meaning that they share from the stomach down into the pelvis area. It takes two people normally to wash them. Oh, is that cold? Ooh. This part's Callie, this part's Carter's. Their blood supply clashes together like two waves into one body. They have separate hearts, separate stomachs, separate heads, of course. And um, what else they have separate? Personalities. Personalities, they have separate personalities. Jason's first day of school. This is actually our first time without brother for a couple of hours. Usually they have brother to play with. It's okay, Daddy, be right back. That's so what we can see the little faces a little bit. And this is the first ultrasound we had. This is the day that we found out they were possibly conjoined. July 15th. I do believe 10 weeks, through two or three days as well. That's when we 100% found out that they were conjoined was in this picture. It just kind of like flipped us upside down. Yeah. They told us that they had high drops, which kills almost all the babies that get it, so. The very, very beginning, we thought abortion would be the best option. No one wants to, you know, carry their kids for nine months just to have them die. We didn't, but we stuck with our gut, and here we are. This is the first picture we ever got of them uh, face to face. There's a face right here and a, another face right here. And this was Carter right here. <laughs> this is the first time I've actually I think looked at these since the girls were born because I would just think that they were gonna die as soon as they were here. Go get it. After the 24 hours, um, once they were born, Carter had a little bit of breathing problems, but they they were doing good. I have two perfect babies, like a oh, huge pressure was just removed from us because now the dread of my babies are gonna die when they come out is gone because they were here and they were here to stay. Mama. Mama. <laughs> yeah. This one's Callie. Callie's the one uh, who lays back. She's more relaxed. She has a little bit of scratches on her face because Carter um, beat her up in the car. She's, she's just something else. She fights with her sister. She'll fight with the dog. She'll fight with Jason. She fights with us. So she's actually very vicious. Yeah, you. This is Callie and Carter's room. Um, they sleep in here, they take naps in here. Um, they get their diaper changed in here. Sometimes they'll get dressed in here. And they have their little music box that they can't sleep without. So they just wake up. I usually will nurse them. And then that's when they go into the living room where they spend most of their time. We were vastly unprepared for babies to come <laughs> home. We were. <laughs> we didn't have clothes completely caught us off guard. Well, this is the first outfit I made for Callie and Carter. I actually buy regular clothes from the back and I cut them in half a certain way. They like to play on the ground. They can scoot and get everywhere around the house. So 
with Cali and Clara's clothes. Just like that. I've made about 20 pieces so far, I'd say. That's how much I've made. They like to venture into the kitchen and try to spill the dog food. But other than that, they just hang out here. <laughs> Teacher, did it put on red or green or blue? I've been good. What'd you learn? Um, like the ABCs. The ABCs? Yeah, and the one, two, threes. My sisters. I went oh. to school. You okay? Jason gets along with them good. If they are crying and one of us are busy, he'll go in there and play with them until we're done. What does Callie do? Mm. She likes to play with things. She likes to play with things? What does Carter do? Um, she scoots. She scoots. How many heads does Callie and Carter have? Two. Is that different? Mm, yeah. Are Callie and Carter, what are Callie and Carter? Are they special? Um, they're special. Mm -hmm. Are they like other babies? No. No. There's been old ladies who've been like, oh, God wouldn't have wanted those children alive. Some people just kind of stare. Go! Oh, good job! Push! They don't expect them to walk till about four, but I honestly think it's going to be about eight. So we don't expect the coordination to start happening until they are a lot older. Yeah. We don't feel comfortable separating the twins because they're going to be more unhealthy when we have them separated than they are right now. The only way we would do separation surgery for Callie and Carter is if a health issue arise or if they want to be separated. We want them to under completely understand the risks. The girls' health is really good. They don't have to take any medication. They get like little colds here and there, like normal kids. Hopefully the future holds good things for them and that they are just happy in the skin that they're in and that they don't want to change because we love them the way they are. Just knowing that they're healthy and, you know, they're learning at an everyday rate. It's a good feeling knowing that to them, nothing's wrong. They are not afraid to do anything.